gonna lose by. Uh, excuse me. There apparently was a car crash a few blocks from down here, and I'm gonna personally see if I can go get you an inside look of what happened in the car crash. Apparently, there was a dog that ran in front of the car. But don't worry, folks, the dog is okay. And I will send you over to my colleagues, which are in Ancient Kings, I believe. A ancient Kings. Yes, Ancient Kings, folks. And they are down in Santa Ana. And they are, they are in Santa Ana and they will be taking you to a museum. For the introduction and as we can tell, you're, it looks like you're having a hard time over there. Anyway, so we're right here in the Santa Ana Expedition and as you can see behind me is the building. We're going to walk in a little bit, but before I'm going to introduce myself, my name is Amadeo Santana. I'm here with the Channel 5 News and my colleague Elsa, Elsa, sorry about that, Elsa, sorry about that. She's on the other side of the building where she's the show you more more info on the pictures that we're going to be displaying. Anyways, if you guys want to follow me, and I'll show you some of the pictures. Hello everyone. For our first display, we have an art piece that captures the amazing essence of the god or king known as Tepeyot. Tepeyot is also known as the heart of the mountain, the jagger of the night, lord of the darkness, Another special characteristics of characteristics of Tepeyot is the spots that he has. It's not those are not just regular spots. Those spots represent the stars in the sky. This is an amazing art piece. Unbelievable. I could describe it more, but it's better if you see it in, in person. That way you can capture the the pure essence, the the masterpiece of this amazing, amazing art artwork that we have here. For our next display, we have the king Akampachitli, in other words, handful of arrows. He's the very first king of the Aztec Empire, most likely the founder of the Aztec Empire. He's considered to be the first true emperor of, of the Aztecs. He started ruling in 1375. Another amazing thing is that he ruled for 21 years. 21 years, that's a very long time. As you can see in the picture, they show very vibrant colors, the red, the yellow, very, very true to the aspect of the Aztec Empire. Psst, you're on camera. Oh, oh hi guys, sorry, we're having some technical difficulties here. But anyway, thank you for my colleagues Nayeli and Amadeo, which are on the other side. And I'm Elsa Hernandez, and I'm gonna be showing you two of the other Aztec kings. One of them being Montezuma, he was a great ruler and he ruled in Tenochtitlan. And if you guys will follow me to the other side of the exhibition and we might meet the other, the painter of the images. The image I am currently looking at is of the King Moctezuma and from what is known of him is that he certainly did live like a king at his huge palace at the Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan. Moctezuma ruled from 1440 to 1469 and during his rule, he led a successful campaign against the Mixtec people, and he also led the construction of the Chaputlepec Aqueduct, which I believe I'm pronouncing correctly. Anyways, this construction was completed in 1466 after 13 years of labor. And while going back to the image, as you can see for yourself, this image shows bright colors, and Moctezuma appears to be wearing a warrior's suit, and there are three eagles being shown, and one can be seen on his shield, and it's an upside-down eagle, and another is shown in the background and the third is the head of an eagle which is being worn by him and it's made of feathers. The eagle in Aztec mythology was regarded as a symbol of the sun, hence the eagle warriors were the warriors of the sun. Members of this war warrior society dressed like eagles adorning themselves with eagle feathers and wearing headgear with an eagle on it. This headgear had an open beak from which the warrior could look out from. Anyhow, we will be moving on to the next image shortly due to the shortage of time we have here in this exhibition. The next image is actually a codex, and in the image we are displaying here is of Chimalpopoca, and his name means smoking shield. Chimalpopoca was the third ruler of Tenochtitlan, and on the day of his coronation in 1417, his brother was named high priest. But going back to the codex, it says here that it is illustrated with 51 full-page paintings in watercolor. 
This manuscript is divided into three sections and the illustration shown here comes from the second section. And it shows Chimalpopoca holding a sphere or a scepter standing on a reed mat and next to a basket work throne. Above him is a smoking shield and thus the meaning of his name. Well folks, that's it for this artwork and now I'm going to head back over with my colleague Amadeo. As you can see, we're at the end of the exhibition. Hopefully you guys have got to see some amazing pictures like the art exhibition. There's a lot more that we wanted to go through, but only short, we only have a short amount of time. So what did you think about it? Well, I thought they were pretty amazing pictures, especially how they showed like the ancient images and how we had some from like, what is it, like 100 years ago? How about you? I liked it. I liked it. Uh, I want to go back and see it right now. So as soon as we're over this, I'm going to go and check some out. Anyways, like I said, this is our end of the show, the exhibition. My name is Omeo Santana. And I'm Elsa Hernandez. And we're going to send you back to sports where Kevin has a dramatic image of someone breaking their leg while playing soccer. See you next Thank time. Thank you. This is Nayeli coming to you live once again. And as you can see, there has been a report of a car accident, which is apparently it seems to have been that they are clearing up the space but we are trying to see if we can get you a closer footage of what happened in the accident as you can see it is very chaotic right now but apparently they are taking us upon a detour due to all of the chaos that is happening and i will i believe we're not going to be able to see what has happened because they are taking us on the detour sorry folks I guess we won't be able to get you some of that inside stuff. Hi folks, we are coming to you live and as you can see, this was the little fella that went in front of the car and no name tag. I might keep the little dude. Ooh, very That's cute. Dog. Oh man, you are live, miss. So, <laughs> hi mom. Well, that happened. Good night, folks. Drive safe.